a very secret room. Honestly, I've been waiting to stay in a room like this ever since I saw it on Instagram. One of a kind. Take a bath tonight, babe? Yes. Let's really go, though. Let's go, Al. That's insane. So we wanted to stay in a really cool spot, especially because Morgan and I haven't seen each other in a while. So one of the things we wanted to do when we saw the Atlantis was here, we wanted to reach out to them and see if we could stay in one of their suites. So stepping in, we're coming in from the hallway. It looks like a normal room, and you're like, what the heck? We're in the loft here. This is the loft of of our room, you look down, massive, massive suite we got going on here. This is bigger than my house. This is bigger than uh, any hotel room I've ever been to. And we're gonna start it up with uh, opening up those curtains right now so you guys can get a better view as we walk down the stairs. Obviously, Atlantis theme. One of the really cool things too is we can take the stairs or we can take the elevator. I've never actually stayed in a hotel room there's its own elevator. So we're gonna go ahead and take the stairs, come up in the elevator here, walking down the stairs, decorated with all this Atlantis themes. It's a big staircase because the ceilings are so high and we absolutely, absolutely love this whole underwater thing. It makes you feel like you're on a ship and like a super galactic underwater Atlantis craziness. So you come in here and you're just like, oh, the foyer. Massive TV, all this natural light. This would be the nicest hotel room I'd ever stayed if this was just, boom, alone in and of itself. But there is more, we'll get to that, so. Obviously, we haven't seen the bedroom yet. So we have the top floor where you walk in at, come down to this beautiful, massive sitting room. Now we're gonna go to where the action happens. Back down, another massive, massive staircase. And now we're in the layer here. Now we're in the Atlantis layer. Obviously, the elevator, you have your guest room, the homie Alex sleeping at night, getting it done. You have a little setup, the TV, the couch. It's a nice little kitty room. Um, massive, massive closet here. This is bigger than every closet I've ever had except for my last house that I sold. So, massive closet. And then, boom! You come in, chandelier, bed, all of that water we were looking at top up in the above floor, we're now here, underwater, under the sea. Darling, it's better, down, down where it's wet up, take, take it, it from, from me. me. So we have this massive aquarium with over 180 species of fish, um, ranging from seven different seas. Next up, so you got, this is where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. Coming into the bathroom, you can be literally soaking in your tub, watching fish swim. Crazy thing is though that people actually can see into you. So down there is where the Atlantis Lost Chambers is at. So they can see up. So if you do bathe in this room or if you do, I don't know, get up to some other things, you might want to close the windows before that happens. So from there, we have the sitting area. So no natural light down here. Obviously we're on, we're underwater right now. So it sets the mood. It's, it's this cozy, Makes you want to jump into a rope and just watch the fish swim by. It's very quiet. You got your shower, you got the bidet, you got the toilet. You learned how to use a bidet. And I'm, they're growing on me. Like, I'm really enjoying them. So, this is uh, where we're going to be staying. Again, we reached out to the Atlantis. This room's about $6,000 a night. Wouldn't be able to flex that hard. So, 
we were doing a, kind of a little collab where we're shooting some Instagram content and whatnot, but really fun when we're able to do something and see a once, really in a lifetime suite. So this is where we're staying tonight. Alex staying in the room next door. If you guys were here, we'd probably just put you on the couch upstairs, but you gotta make sure you don't drool on it because that's not cool in a place like this, so. Floating away. A lot of people come to Dubai, rent Bentleys, Lambos, they ain't got nothing on my ride. My ride, sitting on 55s, rolling on dubs time dubs. You know what I'm saying? Big reveal in three, two, one. What? This thing, all leg power. We're talking big horsepower coming from the legs. I don't gotta worry about traffic because I got the open ocean, you know what I'm saying? I get from my beach house to my baby mama beach house, rolling on 55s. Let's go. Time to get in the water and you know what I'm saying? Skirt, skirt, let's go. E foil time. Haven't done it in about a year and a half, so here we go. sport day done now it's time to chill so but look at this view look at this view look at Dubai over there first cliffs over there you can't see it this is Dubai Marina over there absolutely gorgeous absolute mental day hanging out out of the beach that that good day little uh, hangout session by the beach Ending it off with a unbelievable sunset here. Dubai in the background. Uh, they're supposed to be building this Ferris wheel. One of the biggest Ferris wheels. Dubai is one of the craziest places I've ever been. You guys can hear motorbikes and supercars basically nonstop. Bentleys, like our, where we're staying, literally has more supercars than cars that aren't supercars. So they're not even that cool. Like, I used to be really impressed seeing the Lamborghini Urus. Now, like literally everyone has one in Dubai, so I'm just gonna have to get one. Just kidding. I don't think I could live here because I would feel the need to keep up with the Joneses. That's just part of my personality, which is why I do well in Utah and not in LA. But anyhow, this, not a bad sunset, but uh, kind of is hazy. It seems like there's a filter, which makes it all seem very dreamy and wonderlust. And I'm not gonna lie, today has been exactly that. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll check you out next time. If you guys want to see more content, subscribe. We're going to be doing a workout video next. If you're not subscribed to, more, uh, to Morgan's content, you can get more behind-the-scenes action. You just go to Morgan Maroney. She gets to upload all the good content. I get left with the scraps. No, so I'm, not. Kid I'm kidding. It's all up to Yuri. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we appreciate you guys. 
we're about to see some amazing content because we're in an amazing location with some amazing people. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time.